Welcome everyone to the 88th Celebrity Sinistry Chart Reading where I will be looking into Antonia Romiliotti and Luke Newton. If you don't know me, hi I'm Adeline and it is so nice to meet you. On this channel I look at the dynamic between two celebrities using astrology. For those new and returning, I take notes on a Sinistry Chart looking at the personal planet science aspects and birth, if birth time is available, house overlays. I share these notes and add my extra insights and interpretations along the way. Feel free to leave your own in the comments below. So if that sounds good to you, subscribe and click the bell to join us weekly and let's get right into it. Starting off with the sun, both their sun signs are in Aquarius so they are likely to live in an urban area. I'm not sure if they do live together, how serious the relationship is. Um, but I mean it's not really surprising considering they are both younger people in the industry. On the other hand, you know, particularly with Luke's um, career, if he is someone, an actor that has to be on set and everything, you know, you're not exactly in a consistent urban area. It's a progressive relationship and they maintain their independence. They share intellectual interests and they have an excellent mental relationship and the relationship lacks emotional depth. Antonia's son, sextile Luke's Venus. They really love each other and Luke boosts Antonia's ego. Antonia feels adored by Luke Luke and they both have a desire for cooperation and harmony. I feel like it would be kind of easy considering we have seen that they maintain their independence and that they have a pretty good like you know mental intellectual relationship. I imagine they would be good at communicating what would help make them you know cooperative and harmonious. Luke's son conjunct Antonia's Mercury. There's good communication and they enjoy learning together so going back to that sort of like a mental rapport they have. They have a productive domestic life. Okay so very early on in the reading we're already seeing what like two elements that there is that sort of domestic living together. Um, I wonder if we'll see more um, or potentially you know in the actual relationship because as far as I know they are just starting to like you know it seems like a pretty fresh relationship um, so potentially this is something in the future they you know might have going on. They share and talk about ideas and Antonia values Luke's views and Antonia feels free to speak around Luke. Luke's son, square Antonia's Mars, sparks fly, there's a competitive nature and a tendency to interrupt each other. Considering you have seen that they have pretty good communication potentially, I mean particularly on Antonia's end where she feels very free to speak around Luke, hopefully we'll see more uh, but hopefully it leads towards the positive side of things where they can't they just can't stop talking around each other you know individual egos create problems Ew, because the way i'm reading this with what we have seen already considering they maintain their independence i am kind of concerned hopefully not um but potentially if this leans into the direction where their independence and them as individuals like being too of much of an individual would create problems. It's productive to work on a mutual goal and they both need to stop focusing on the details. Luke feels challenged by Antonia's dominance and they need to respect each other's natural habits and over time get more annoyed with each other. Mm, this makes me feel like potentially if they did move in with each other they live together. Um, that is where you really see each other's natural habits. So if that is a place where things fall apart. Mm. Luke's son, square Antonia Saturn. Antonia sacrifices her freedom and Luke is too sensitive to criticism. I wonder because we did just see that he feels challenged by Antonia's um, dominance. Uh, we haven't seen anything too specific with how she communicates but we did see she feels very free to speak around Luke. Potentially that is, you know, something where she might be a bit more critical towards Luke, which he's sensitive to. They both attempt to support each other and Luke may outgrow Antonia. I'm not really liking that we, I feel like so far we have seen a pretty equal um, balance of like, you know, living together, but also like deteriorating factors. They both feel mature and Antonia tends to be critical of Luke. Luke feels blocked and discouraged by Antonia and Luke sees Antonia as all the traditions he wants to overcome. I wonder where, because like we have seen, you know, this is a quite progressive relationship 
and nothing so far indicates this is a very traditional relationship so I wonder if we'll see more relating to this. They both need to really want this relationship to work. Luke's son conjunct Antonia's Uranus, they meet each other suddenly and they are separated at key moments, which I feel like is not surprising. I'm not really sure what Antonia does but Luke, you know, being an actor, you kind of, you know, you are separated at key moments of people in your life, aren't you? They need to embrace spontaneity and it's a relationship outside of tradition. So that's what I'm saying. It doesn't seem to be a very traditional relationship. Maybe Antonia is more traditional and that's, you know, what Luke is trying to overcome and seems to be potentially more successful with that. Luke is willing to support Antonia's desires and Luke wants more stability. Mm-hmm. This is weird to me that Luke wants more stability because, uh, you know, with the little we have seen, um, you know, him wanting to overcome traditions, you know, it seems to be likely with him that, you know, a part of, he's a part of the reason why they can be separated at key moments, which is not really things for stability. It seems like he seems to be more leaning on the side where he's not really bringing the stability. So a bit ironic I guess hopefully we'll see more. They met when both were looking for something different and Luke triggers Antonia to explore her individuality which she seems to hold quite well like considering like we have seen you know her desires are quite supportive she tends to be a bit more dominant it seems like a bit you know free speaking. Luke is attracted to Antonia's unconventional qualities and Antonia challenges Luke to be more unconventional. Okay, so it seems like there is a bit of a push on Antonia's end to be more not traditional as well. Um, I really want to see more when it comes to this. Like, you know, I know we've only seen it once that, you know, Luke wants to overcome through traditions, but I'm very curious because it seems to be a bit of a part. It seems to be hold some significance to this relationship. Luke's son sextile Antonia's Pluto. There is a strong connection and they are more powerful together. They comfortably share secrets and they are drawn to each other in a magnetic way. Now for the intermission. This video is brought to you by me my Etsy store Adeline the Astrologer. If you ever watch this and think, hey, I would like her to read my Sinistry chart, well, I will. I do personalized Sinistry readings on my Etsy store, both basic and detailed. The basic one is very simple to understand. It's not overwhelming at all. Um, it's pretty good for those that are beginners to astrology, just getting the head around astrology, or just as a fun gift idea. The detailed one is just like what I do on my channel, um, just a lot of insight and interpretation on your chart. So if you are interested in that and everything else, astrology and tower related readings and gifts, then definitely check out my Etsy store. Links are below. I'm always releasing new things, so definitely check it out if you're interested. You can even just favorite the store just to show your support for free. Thanks for listening and let's get back to the reading. So now it's time for Moon and we have Antonia's Moon in Capricorn and Luke's Moon in Cancer. These are both sister polarity signs and also cardinal signs as well. So they have contrasting instincts, again potentially when it comes to more traditional things and even I guess instincts with how they criticize each other. They have opposite temperaments, it's a loyal relationship. Antonia appreciates Luke's soft nature, yeah she seems to be very much the more intense person is that the right word? Like it definitely someone that would contrast Luke being a bit more soft. So I feel like they have that sort of dynamic. Soft heart is not the right word I feel like though. Luke is drawn to Antonia's stability. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he wants then because <laughs> I think he's a bit conflicted. I really want to see more on this because we may get some sort of like more balance. Luke may not be emotionally satisfied by Antonia. He, their moon signs are opposite to each other so they have contrasting emotional needs and they are strongly attracted to each other. We did see they are quite drawn to each other in that magnetic way so that is there. Excellent communication is needed. Considering everything we have seen I feel like communication is there. Um, whether other things are, you know, in sync is a bit difficult to say. It's difficult to be in sync and certain habits will be unbearable for the other. Antonia's moon is square Luke's Jupiter. There's a tendency to be extreme and excessive and poor judgment can lead to trouble. They are too optimistic as a couple and both feel free with their emotions. We've seen this on Antonia's end already. It's a relationship about determining boundaries. 
I feel like it is because I mean the whole natural habits things when it and also the domestic factor I feel like those you know events events in your life those themes of a relationship are very um you know related and strongly tied to boundary making boundaries it's a relationship about determining boundaries which I see you know things like with the whole living together thing and the whole traditions thing I feel like those two sort of themes of a relationship you could say those elements of a relationship those are very much tied to you know and linked to determining boundaries and boundary making they both will learn better judgment and there is a failing to keep promises okay i'm leaning towards luke considering he seems to be a bit conflicted whether he wants stability or wants his independence i should probably emphasize the stability of a relationship with antonia antonia may become possessive of luke i'm not really surprised she seems to be quite a sort of like more assertive character a more dominating character like and seems to contrast that with luke being a bit more of a softer character they meet in an optimistic way which you know we did see that they met when both were looking for something different and of course, if they were looking for something more optimistic, I assume that would be linked. <laughs> Antonia's moon conjunct Luke's Uranus. There is instant attraction, which we have seen already with this sort of attraction, the magnetism and all of that. Unpredictability makes long term difficult, which we have seen that they can be separated at key moments. Um, and also another sort of deteriorating factor, Luke is dominant. I wonder where, <laughs> potentially just in status, because like at the moment, as far as I know, like he seems to be the one that has a bit more of like a presence in the media and all of that. They have an exciting meeting and they share an unusual lifestyle. Friends play a part in the meeting and Antonia sees Luke as unreliable. See, th this is where his inconsistency <laughs> is coming through again. I wonder if it is a place like, Maybe he does desire like the stability of a relationship and all of that consistency. Um, potentially he is desiring that, but maybe not able to execute it and be a part of that, if that makes sense. Antonia creates an accepting atmosphere for Luke and Luke brings excitement to Antonia. Antonia's moon conjunct to Luke's Neptune. Antonia makes Luke feel safe. See, there is a weird thing with like him seem to like a conflicting feelings when it comes to Luke. Antonia makes Luke feel safe. Yeah, the con inconsistency I feel like just keeps coming through with Luke. Luke expects unconditional understanding and Antonia is possessive of Luke. We're seeing that again. Emotional dependency. So far we haven't seen a whole lot of emotionalness to this relationship besides like, you know, Luke expecting unconditional understanding. You could see that as more of an emotional thing. Um, so potentially Luke is a bit more emotionally dependent on Antonia. They idealize each other and they may lose themselves in each other. Okay. Art is a shared interest and they sense and feel each other. Luke finds it easy to read Antonia and Antonia feels that Luke cannot fulfill her needs for stability. Interesting. It's interesting to see this um, considering like we saw this and like we saw before again that um, Antonia sees Luke as unreliable but also that Luke sees Antonia and like wanting to overcome those her traditions whatever that is. Um, we haven't quite figured it out yet from this reading but it seems like maybe Antonia is pushing a bit more of the more traditional like wanting a you know normal stable relationship I guess um because as far as I know like it seems like Luke is the real you know he's the actor traveler whatever no that doesn't have a stable career so thus far he's not going to really have that stable relationship so I wonder if he feels maybe conflicted between like the relationship and his career maybe that's why he's not exactly able to fulfill the stability you know be that stable person um, but also we, you know, he seems to want that. So maybe it is just coming from a place of like lack of prioritization or prioritization not for the relationship really. Antonia's moon sextile Luke's Pluto. The relationship feels faded and both of their irrational sides come out. Okay. Relationship presents opportunity for both to heal from the past. I wouldn't be shocked if this was one of those sort of like learning relationships where they get through certain issues because we have seen more deteriorating factors. I don't think we've seen 
any really factors of longevity at all, have we? It's an intense meeting and there is a strong bond and they're involved in organizations together. Luke's moon and trying to Antonia's Venus. There is mutual appreciation and it is easy to compromise. There is natural affection and they are supportive of each other during conflict. I mean, going back to like in the beginning, we did see that uh, Antonia feels quite supported in this relationship. So I assume it would come to maybe matters like a conflict rather than like, you know, her traditional desires, I guess you could say. They appreciate art together and they're a social couple. Luke's moon is sextal Antonia's Saturn. Antonia feels Luke is committed to her. Okay, I mean, it doesn't seem like he's not committed to her. Like, we did see, like, in a you know, loyal relationship, and I'm not doubting that. I just, you know, the consistency and stability on Luke's end is questionable. It's not a shallow relationship, and Antonia is accountable to Luke, and she provides practical help. I'm not sure where that would be, but that is there. So now it's time for Mercury. So both their Mercury signs are in Aquarius, so they have abstract conversations and they both tend to be argumentative, which we did see that they both have that tendency to interrupt each other, so maybe that's where they, you know, might become argumentative, intellectually stimulating, and they share detached and objective values. Their Mercury signs are conjunct to each other, so they think like each other, and they share interests, which I have seen already a couple times, they share those artistic interests. They enjoy each other's company and they are good friends and they value each other. They just get each other and they approach problems the same way. They see eye to eye most of the time and there's possibility for heated debates. So yeah, this seems to, generally it seems to be their communication is pretty good. There are times where they can tend to be argumentative, which I feel like this is all a sort of like domino effect, like they interrupt each other, which that could lead to them being argumentative and that could lead to the, you know, things getting a bit more heated. Um, but I feel like on the whole, the communication is pretty good. Misunderstandings are unlikely. I feel like the only place where there is like misunderstandings is like the sort of, you know, themes of stability in this relationship really from Luke's end. Both feel they have found their intellectual match. Antonia's Mercury conjunct to Luke's Saturn. Luke influences Antonia to be more productive and they have practical conversations. Antonia is not comfortable talking to Luke. I wonder if it is about certain things rather than, you know, because we did see she feels quite free to speak around Luke. There is difficult communication and Luke makes Antonia self-conscious. This took a bit of a turn. That's sad. Luke criticizes Antonia, so it seems like there is a bit, because we did see a bit like that Antonia criticizes Luke. Um, we, we didn't really see, we just saw that once or twice, I believe. So it seems like on both ends, there is a tendency, but potentially not as strong. We'll see more as it goes on. There is mutual respect in the beginning, and Luke acts as a teacher with Antonia. Luke feels threatened by Antonia. In what way? Maybe like to his independence, but it seems like they both seem to maintain that. Antonia's Mercury square Luke's Pluto. They have frequent intellectual arguments, and Antonia is overwhelmed by this dynamic. I mean, it does seem to be a bit more intense in the sense of like, they seem to be quite, it seems to be a magnetic relationship, it, very intellectual and all of that. Um, so I wonder if in that way, but maybe sort of overwhelmed by the dynamic in terms of like, maybe the whole traditional stability thing is still like at the back of my mind. Um, so maybe something to do with that, that makes her overwhelmed. Especially considering that it's not very clear, you know, there's not a sort of set. They both may hold onto issues for too long and Antonia feels controlled by Luke. I feel like this would be, because we did just see that he acts as a teacher with her. I think, but we already have seen that Antonia is a bit more possessive of Luke. Antonia wants to understand Luke deeply and Luke wants to know Antonia's secrets. Luke tries to control Antonia's thoughts. I don't like this U-turn. Like, it's come later in the reading, but I don't like it. It's suddenly gone very sad and dark and controlling. Antonia's Mercury square Luke's Jupiter. It's a relationship that expands consciousness. I definitely see that considering they have such a strong intellectual like you know connection. I'm not surprised at all. Antonia helps Luke go through hard times with optimism and promising more is a problem. They have a habit of interrupting and Antonia is frustrated with Luke's analytical approach to life. Okay. Antonia may come off as holier than thou, 
I'm not really surprised. Like, she seems to have a bit more of a stronger presence about her to this relationship, especially when it comes to Luke and comparing them. Lack of understanding regarding each other's ideas. Again, I feel like this is just how they approach their relationship when it comes to consistency and stability. There's communication difficulties and they share a mental and intellectual bond. There are frequent misunderstandings and they have different philosophical views. Debates can turn into arguments, which seems like a bit of a thing. I mean, which we did see before, potentially arguments turn into debates, heated debates. Um, but I mean, they're kind of interchangeable at the end of the day, aren't they? Luke's Mercury Square, Antonia's Saturn. There's a deep respect for the other's intelligence. I would hope so. Such a strong intellectual thing here. Like, you would hope so. There is serious tone in conversation and Luke me can be intimidated by Antonia's practicality. I assume that's where he feels threatened by Antonia. Luke feels inferior to Antonia. I mean, I'm not shocked. So like, it... <laughs> Not that it seems like, you know, there is that sort of element, like, yes, Antonia has the stronger personality, it seems like, I guess, and Luke, not so much. But it's not necessarily an inferiority thing. Negativity and criticism take over the conversation, and they both question their role in their relationship, not surprisingly so. So now it's time for Venus. We have Antonia's Venus in Pisces and Luke's Venus in Aries. There's an intense attraction and Luke leads the relationship. I wonder in what way, like genuinely, um, it seems like Antonia is. Luke finds Antonia enticing and Antonia's unclean nature is confusing to Luke. Oh! This is like, I thought this would have been the other way around. Maybe Antonia isn't great at communicating, I don't know, her specific feelings. Because if she does see Luke as someone who cannot fulfill her needs for stability, you could also see that as, you know, kind of giving up, I guess. Like, she doesn't, you know, want to even bother because she feels like he can't even do it, you know. They have a lot to offer the other. Antonia's Venus sextile Luke's Uranus. Luke likes to keep the relationship exciting and they share unusual interests. They're an unconventional couple and Luke feels appreciated by Antonia. Antonia is drawn to Luke's unique qualities, which I feel like we saw this either also on Antonia's and or Luke's end, so that seems to be there. Luke finds Antonia charming and attractive, which we are seeing again. Antonia's Venus sextile Luke's Neptune. Antonia is enchanted by Luke and they prefer to see each other as a fantasy. I wonder if that is what is really helping this relationship. Like, we have seen a lot of, like, there is a lot of attraction, they're, it's magnetic, they're enchanted, they're enticed by the other and all of that. I wonder if maybe that is what they're holding on to, the sort of little, like, fantasy, like, honeymoon phase they have. Maybe that's what this whole relationship is, like, a big honeymoon phase, because... In the beginning, there was more of that element of like, you know, living together, like, but over time, their, you know, habits get in the way of things. So I wonder if, you know, that sort of honeymoon phase ended when, you know, maybe if they do started living together, maybe just, you know, seeing the real them just doesn't work for them. Also, I realize as I'm saying this, I you obviously don't know where they are in the relationship. Like, it's not a super public couple. Um, so this could all very much be in the future speaking. They are tolerant of each other and they share spiritual interests. Antonia may expect too much from Luke. The only way I would see she's expecting too much from Luke, maybe when it comes to stability and consistency, um, if it comes to, like, maybe she wants him to prioritise her over his work, maybe... Um, and if that is something Luke is obviously passionate and dedicated to, it's a kind of a big ask. Luke is easily charmed by Antonia. Antonia's Venus, try and Luke's Pluto. It's emotionally fulfilling and it's not likely to grow stale, which we have seen this relationship generally seems to be more on the exciting end, which just makes me think, you know, now towards the end, it seems like more of a sort of like honeymoon, like lovey-dovey type of relationship. They both enjoy growing from this relationship and they want to have children together. As, <laughs> as I'm saying, oh, it's not super serious. It's more of a honeymoon phase. And now this, oh my gosh. I love the way the readings turn sometimes. Which they could have wanted to or want to. Tenses are kind of difficult to use, um, you know, when you don't know what's happening with the relationship and you 
could I could be very well speaking about the future, not the present, you know. Um, so potentially that is a conversation to have. They do move in together and then it's like, mm, doesn't work. Antonia sees Luke as a soulmate, potentially why she is more on the pushier end when it comes to commitment. Antonia considers Luke irresistible. Luke's Venus sextile Antonia's Jupiter. It's materially successful and Antonia finds Luke interesting. There is an ability to get over issues and they see the good in each other. It's a relationship of growth and they're a socially popular couple which we have seen both points before. They thrive in each other's company and they trust each other. Luke's Venus sextile Antonia's Neptune. This is a repeated aspect just inverted. So Luke is enchanted by Antonia and Luke may expect too much from Antonia and Antonia is easily charmed by Luke. So now it's time for Mars. We have Antonia's Mars in Scorpio and Luke's Mars in Cancer. These are both water signs. Luke avoids confrontation with Antonia. I don't like how there seems to be a lack of confrontation. Um, specifically like when it comes to the whole sort of like stability traditional thinkers. It seems like Antonia doesn't really want to confront him either about it. Um, and also, yeah, we're seeing now Luke doesn't want it either, which isn't great. Luke is protective of Antonia and Antonia is possessive of Luke. We're, we're seeing again, we keep seeing. Luke is submissive and Antonia is dominant. Um, yeah, generally good summary of the relationship or generally. Antonia's mask square Luke Saturn. Antonia tries to impress Luke and Luke's standards are in conflict with Antonia's efforts. E, I don't like that. Luke may try to control Antonia as he thinks Antonia is immature. I don't like this whole thing. I mean I've you know we've been seeing Antonia's possessive of Luke um, and I haven't really mentioned oh it's terrible. Um, I should probably call myself out on that um but it seems like I don't know Luke because we've seen like he's wanting to control Antonia he feels threatened by her in comparison it's not great on Luke's end but I also feel like like Luke's standards are in conflict um I feel like you know it seems like on both ends there is sort of like the standards and what they're trying to do for the other seem to be quite contradictory. Antonia's Mars sextile Luke's Uranus. They encourage the other's independence and it's an experimental relationship. I think that is also a good way to summarize this relationship. Like it's, you know, they're growing. It's not exactly stale, you know, it's nice and exciting. They both share humanitarian interests, which we did see earlier. They are likely to be in organizations together. So I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Luke makes Antonia anxious. I mean, not surprisingly so. I um, can't really say it's a surprise. Antonia's Mars sextile Luke's Neptune. Antonia is captivated by Luke and Antonia sees Luke Luke as spineless. I mean, she is the more like, you know, stronger personality here. So it's not shocking to see, is it? The relationship seems unbalanced to outsiders. Okay. I wonder like, what is the general public consensus of these two then? I'm curious. Or like, you could even see this as their sort of friends and family as well, which we won't know. <laughs> so that was the final aspect, bringing us to the end of the reading. If you are still watching, please share your thoughts below. I'd be very curious to see how you guys interpret this one. I feel like, you know, I mean, the main issue of this relationship really was, you know, the stability, consistency, and I feel like lack of communication when it comes to that. So I would be curious to see if you guys interpret that any differently. If you know anything about these two, definitely share. If you have made it this far, please consider subscribing for more. I post these readings weekly. Besides that, give this video a like and I will see you guys next time. Bye!